We have stories on every topic in every conceivable time period, from ancient philosophy, the story of Dwanza and the happiness of fish, to the story of a modern scientist, Yuan Longping, who through his painstaking research into strains of rice, brought about a massive improvement to global food supply. His journey began in the 1960s and continues to the present day. We also have a story about an ancient Chinese inventor, Cai Luan, and a story about friendship and sacrifice from the Warring States period, Zuo Bo Tao and Yang Jiao Ai. We also have a story about the architect who designed the Forbidden City, all of these stories will be divided into classes which will teach you about recitation, summarizing, English vocabulary, grammar and word usage, storytelling techniques, and also how to apply the themes and ideas behind these stories to modern society. Zhang 也有关于故宫建筑师的故事 Hello and welcome. Well, today we've got a new story for you. It's about Zuo Bo Tao and Yang Jiao Ai. In this first class, I'm first going to be talking a little bit about why this story is important. Why is it a story worth telling? Then I'm going to be reciting from the English version of the story from the text in this book. Then I'll be giving some tips and ideas about recitation, how to make your voice more varied, more engaging, more lively. 大家好,欢迎来学习新的故事。再然后我会给大家一些建议看什么样或者怎么样能够让朗诵更好听一些好那我们先来讲一讲左伯涛和杨角爱的故事我认为所有的文明都有赞颂友谊和忠诚的故事这类故事很重要因为他们唤起了每
，外国人需要知道这类故事，因为在这个故事当中，养左之教已经变成中国人形容味道有益的一个常用说法。好的，我们现在开始从文本当中朗诵一下英文的文本。Two young men. In flimsy gowns, trudged along in the teeth of a raging blizzard. They were Yang Jiao Ai and Zuo Bo Tao, highly talented scholars of the Spring and Autumn period, 770-476 BC. Hearing that King Yuan of Chu was inviting men of integrity to join his court. The two friends immediately decided to leave their hometown and journey to Chu together. Notwithstanding the fact that they had nothing in their knapsacks but a few rice buns, they set off on their way in freezing weather. Before long, they were both shivering with cold. Zuo Bo Tao was of a weak constitution, and he walked more and more slowly. Scarcely able to keep his feet on the slippery road, Yang Jiao Ai hastened to assist his friend. He produced two rice buns from his knapsack and tried to persuade Zuo to eat them together with melted snow. Zuo Bo Tao waved them away, protesting, "I'm not hungry. It's just that I don't have a drop of energy left in my body. You go on." And don't worry about me. If you come to a village ahead, bring some people back to find me. This made Yang Jiao Ai lose patience. Absolutely not! He cried. If your ankle is sprained, I'll help you to walk. Whenever you feel tired, we can sit down and rest. We are bosom friends. How could I possibly leave you behind? Zuo Bo Tao's eyes reddened. In his heart, he was deeply moved, but he thought, "The rice buns we've left might be enough for one of us to survive. If the two of us rely on them, we may both end up starving. Also, my learning is not up to the standard of Yang's. Now that I am injured and cannot walk on, how can I hold him back? No, I must think of a way to make him go ahead." In the twinkling of an eye, Zuo Bo Tao. Slipped again and fell down with a cry of pain. Greatly concerned, his friend asked him if he was able to get to his feet again. But Zuo Bo Tao said, "It's no good. I can't walk any more. The ground's too frozen. Please be good enough to help me to a rock, which I can sit down and rest on." Yang Jiao Ai made his friend comfortable and wrapped him in his own gown. Then he went off to find a suitable rock. As he saw Yang Jiao Ai depart, Zuo Bo Tao raised his head and closed his eyes. Two lines of tears rolled down his cheeks. When Yang Jiao Ai returned with a rock, he saw that Zuo Bo Tao had divested himself of all his clothes and was almost frozen to death. His mouth and lips were purple, his face deathly pale. With his last breath, Zuo Bo Tao managed to stammer, "Yang Jiao Ai, take both our clothes and keep walking. Take all the rice buns with you as well, and get to Chu as quickly as you can. When you get there, you must strive to fulfill the ambition of both of us." With that, he passed away. Yang Jiao Ai wailed bitterly. With his remaining strength, he buried Zuo Bo Tao in the snow. Then, shouldering his knapsack, he headed into the blizzard. His teeth clenched in determination. When he arrived in Chu, Yang Jiao Ai quickly gained the favor of King Yuan. He helped the kingdom of Chu win many victories in battle. When the king asked him whether he wanted a higher position or a good fortune, Yang Jiao Ai cared nothing for fame and wealth. His only concern was to give his old friend Zuo Bo Tao a proper burial. Yang Jiao Ai explained, 
If it hadn't been for my friends sacrificing his life, I wouldn't be where I am today. King Yuan of Chu was impressed by these words and had Zuo Bo Tao buried with all the honors due to a senior official. Yang Jiao Ai was determined to fulfill his friend's dream, devoting himself completely to the service of Chu and becoming one of the most famous men of his time. The moral of this story. A Yang Zuo friendship is a proverb in China used to describe a life and death bond of friendship. True friendship in this context includes both affection and rightful conduct. Zuo Bo Tao disregarded gain and loss in his complete devotion to his friend. Yang Jiao Ai refused to abandon his friend and kept in mind their old affection. In these ways they served as models of what the Chinese people mean by true friendship. So I'm now going to select a passage from which we can learn some recitation skills. We're going to learn some recitation skills from which we can learn some recitation skills. We're going to learn some recitation skills from which we can learn some recitation skills. The tiredness of Zuo Bo Tao and his realization of his own weakness, and contrast that with the fierce loyalty and determination of Yang Jia Ai. Then, in the following paragraph, which follows, we need to let our voice show Zuo Bo Tao's feeling of being moved when he sees Yang Jia Ai's loyalty to be replaced by his own determination not to be a burden to his friend any longer. 在接下来的段落，我们要用声音来展现卓伯涛的疲惫，以及他意识到自己的虚弱。与此相反的，杨角爱的忠实、真诚以及决心。然后，在这个段落，我们也需要用声音来展示卓伯涛看到杨角爱的忠诚而被感动。从而，他自己下决心不成为朋友的负担。Let's listen for how my voice changes throughout this section, and please pay attention to where I pause. 好的，我们来听一听，在这部分的声音有如何变化，并且请注意到我的停顿。罗伯塔 waved them away, protesting. I'm not hungry. It's just that I don't have a drop of energy left in my body. You go on, and don't worry about me. If you come to a village ahead, bring some people back to find me. This made Yang Jiao Ai lose patience. Absolutely not! He cried. If your ankle is sprained, I'll help you to walk. Whenever you feel tired, we can sit down and rest. We are bosom friends. How could I possibly leave you behind? Zuo Bo Tao's eyes reddened. In his heart, he was deeply moved, but he thought, the rice buns we've left might be enough for one of us to survive. If the two of us rely on them, we may both end up starving. Also. My learning is not up to the standard of Yang's. Now that I am injured and cannot walk on, how can I hold him back? No. I must think of a way to make him go ahead. First of all, we heard Zuo Bo Tao explaining how he was lacking in energy. We need to reflect that by letting our voice go lower and lower, and also letting the volume get softer. I think we should also emphasize the word "drop." In the following sentence, 那么首先我们听到卓伯涛解释他的体力有多么不足。为了反映这一点，我们需要把声音变低，音量变柔和。那么我们也需要强调一句话啊，而且这句话当中的 drop 这个词 ，It's just that I don't have a drop of energy left in my body. Okay, so Yang Jiao Ai's determination must be reflected in his first sentence, in which the volume of our voice must be immediately raised and must sound stronger. Let's listen. 那么
，羊角爱的决心需要展示在他的第一句话，在此我们的声音要突然升高，并且要听上去很有力。我们来听一听 ，Absolutely not. When we recite that phrase, we must reflect that sense of determination. We should also add a pause afterwards to let the impact of those two powerful words sink into the audience. 当我们朗诵这个段落，我们必须反映这个决心。我们也需要在之后有一个停顿，这一点会让这两个有力的单词感染观众。When we read this sentence. 当我们读到这句话的时候，左伯涛的 eyes reddened. We must focus on the fact that reddened means that tears were coming into 左伯涛的 eyes. He's not crying out loud, but he's deeply moved. As with the phrase above, we need to let the impact of this sentence sink into our audience by pausing after reading it. 眼眶泛红，意味左伯涛将要流泪，但是他并不是大声哭，而是深受感动。从上一段落，我们可以知道，我们需要让这句话也有感染力。通过我们停顿来展示给观众。呃、uh, ，Let's listen again。我们再来听一遍。左伯塔 waved them away, protesting, "I am not hungry. It's just that I don't have a drop of energy left in my body. You go on, and don't worry about me." If you come to a village ahead, bring some people back to find me. This made Yang Jiao Ai lose patience. Absolutely not, he cried. If your ankle is sprained, I'll help you to walk. Whenever you feel tired, we can sit down and rest. We are bosom friends. How could I possibly leave you behind? Zuo Bo Tao's eyes reddened. In his heart, he was deeply moved, but he thought, "The rice buns we've left might be enough for one of us to survive. If the two of us rely on them, we may both end up starving. Also, my learning is not up to the standard of Yang's. Now that I'm injured and cannot walk on, how can I hold him back? No, I must think of a way to make him go ahead." 好的，今天的课就讲到这里了。Bye for now.